What's up y'all, out here at the range again, doing some jelly testing. As you can see behind me, got my jelly contraption set up and we're going back to 22 Magnum for this and we're running it out of a Heritage Rough Rider. This is actually one that somebody requested down in the comments of one of my videos. They actually used this for defensive purposes and was curious to see the performance out of a couple of different rounds. So let me show y'all what we're working with today. All right, obviously again, got a jelly contraption, the Chrono, got two blocks of gel. Now I've got a 22 LR punch test in this gel, but we got plenty of room. I'll leave a link if y'all hadn't seen that one but like i said what we're working with today is some 22 magnum again and we're running it out of the four and three quarter inch barreled heritage rough rider we got the magnum cylinder in it just the standard four and three quarter inch rough rider uh and the two rounds we're using today we're using the hornady critical defense 45 grain ftx projectile and then we're using the cci maxi mag 40 grain uh jacketed hollow point so this should be a pretty good test i'm really curious to see what these do i've tested these hornadies before not out of this barrel length but i've never tested these maxi mags out of any of the heritages so it should be very interesting results here but like i said this one was a request down in the comments i can't remember exactly who it was again but i'm sure you'll be watching this so he actually i'm pretty sure said that he uses this for defensive purposes that's all he's got at his disposal right now is this heritage rough rider to use so it's definitely a potent little package with 22 magnum no doubt about that but let's set this up and let's see just how potent it is all right y'all we're gonna start out by getting some speeds on these things as always i'm gonna start out with the hornady critical defense 45 grainers um if y'all hadn't seen the video i did it's been several months ago now where i did a few different lengths of these heritage rough riders i used 22 lr and 22 magnum and got some chrono reads and stuff on them i'll leave a link up above if you're interested in checking that out i didn't have this four and three quarter at the time so i'm pretty interested to see what these are running myself so all right hornady critical defense here we go y'all Ten fifty six, ten seventy six, uh, ten eleven, ten eighty, and ten eighty seven. So let's go see what that five round average is. All right, so the five round average on the Hornady Critical Defense was a thousand sixty two feet per second. Let's swap it up and let's check out them maxi mags. All right, y'all, five rounds of the CCI maxi mags. One thing I can tell you is that the whole table out there is covered with unburnt powder on top of the gel and the table. Unburnt powder everywhere. So that's to be expected, though. It ain't it ain't getting it all burnt before it leaves this four and three quarter inch barrel. Still pretty respectable uh, velocities out of that. So let's see what these maxi mags are doing, y'all. 1095, 1066, 1097, 1084, and 1083. Let's check that average out. All right, so the five round average on the CCI Maxi Mags was 1085. And if y'all remember out of those critical defense, it was 1,062. So we're looking at 23 feet per second faster out of the CCI Maxi Mags. Not much at all. So this should be a pretty good test. I think it'll, this one will come down to which projectile is better. So let me get all this stuff out of the way and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's Magnum Cowboy Jelly time. Starting with the critical defense, 45 grain FTX projectile. Let's see what it does in the jelly, y'all. 1095 all right look like a good hit let's go check that thing out all right y'all that was actually a good straight on hit but the thing decided to make an upward curve i'll show y'all here in a minute but we're gonna do another one so we can catch this projectile we'll try to go a little lower and over to the left so y'all can see it better here we go all right that one should have been a good one i kept it pretty low let's go see what happened down there All right, that was a good one there. We caught the bullet on that. Looks like it tumbled around backwards. It's hard to tell, but we'll, we'll look at it here in a second. Let's check out this uh, Maxi Mag, y'all. I'm gonna try to put this one under the other one. It's gonna be tricky though. Here we go. All right, I can't see nothing on that block. The whole front of it is covered with unburnt powder. So let me go down there and see what happened there.
All right, y'all, let's check out what we got here. So on the very bottom there, uh, that's the mini mag. This middle one right here, that's the Hornady critical defense that we caught. It stopped right there. The mini mag stopped way down here towards the bottom. That first one we took was this one right here. And it went in, you see it went in pretty straight, but then it, for some reason, it wanted to get out of there and curve on out and left the top of the jail. But from what we got in the jail, I can just tell you, when we took that critical defense, I took that shot and I thought, man, that did really nice. Nice big wound channel all the way up through here. Looks like it's tumbled around backwards. We'll pull it here in a second, check it out though. I thought, man, that thing did really nice, fantastic wound channel. And then this maxi mag came down the line. This thing is devastating, y'all. I mean, absolutely huge wound channel two big old huge pieces i mean all the way from here to here just massive wound channel disruption and it looks like it's turned around backwards also i don't think either one of them expanded any but we'll pull them just to make sure um but so far just from looks here that maxi mag took the win there's not even a question i mean not even a question y'all that thing did fantastic and now like i say this is the maxi mag this is the uh varmint hollow point version of it which i picked a hollow point version to test with because i thought maybe we'd get some expansion but maybe we just didn't get enough speed or it could have been because it tumbled just didn't have the stability out of that four and three quarter barrel or, or maybe a little of both but anyway fantastic wound channels on those so let me measure the penetration on them all right as far as penetration on the critical defense it's looking at right exactly 12 inches exactly 12 inches of penetration on that critical defense and like i say i'm pretty sure it's tumbled around backwards but i'll check it and make sure here in a second so exactly 12 inches the cci maxi mag all the way out at 14 and three quarters so 14 and three quarters of an inch penetration on that cci maxi mag I wanted to give you all a quick look from above here. Um, this one is not a good example of that critical defense. It's on the left here. It's, it's kind of straight looking from this one, but it's from the side. You can see the critical defense projectile there. But y'all can see, look at all that unburnt powder. I mean, look at the front of this block absolutely covered with unburnt powder the top the table it's all over everywhere um, but anyway that big wound channel right there towards the bottom that's that maxi mag i mean that is devastating y'all absolutely devastating carries all the way through and stops down there at the bottom all right y'all a really quick look at the projectiles there's no measurements to be made no weights because there was absolutely no loss no expansion no nothing out of these you can see that's the hornady with that ftx tip in it the tip's still in it no expansion on it no expansion on the on the uh, maxi mag no kind of deformation as you can see they both look just like they did when they left the barrel so really no nothing to see on these now we've seen this critical defense perform a lot better than this before as far as expansion out of some different rough riders i don't know if it's maybe like i say maybe it's because it tumbled on this one it didn't get the expansion but from what i can see if i had to choose one of these out of that revolver this test right here i would pick the maxi mag all day long that that wound channel was just absolutely devastating on this maxi mag all right, y'all, another jelly test in the book. This one was pretty interesting, and to be honest with you, it really wasn't what I expected as far as the results. I expected a little expansion off of both of these rounds through that four and three quarter inch barrel. Um, like I said, I've tested these critical defense in the past. I can't remember what size barrel, but I know I got some expansion on it before, so I kind of expected a little bit of it here at least. I suspect it's probably because it tumbled around backwards, both of them. I think the speed should have been enough to give us a little expansion if it would have stayed forward, but y'all let me know what y'all's thoughts are down in the comments. Like I say, I can't remember who asked me to do this test, but I hope it helps you a little bit. Uh, if, if I'm making a decision here on which one of these rounds to carry out of this particular revolver, I would go with that Maxi Mag personally. Uh, both of them, neither one of them got expansion, but they both cause nice wound channels, but the Maxi Mag got more wound channel and more expansion. So, I mean, I think that's a no brainer there as far as this particular test goes. But if y'all enjoyed the video as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos. Check my Amazon store for an affiliate link down in the description. Like I always ask, if you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first. Goes right through Amazon from there like normal. Don't cost you any extra time or money. And anything you buy anywhere on Amazon after hitting that link up first, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. So I really appreciate that. Appreciate all my range game members. Like I always tell y'all who reached out and hit that join button. That really helps. And I really thank y'all for that. Thank y'all to every single one of y'all who watches my videos, who thumbs up, subscribes to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon. We just clicked over 14 
7,000 subscribers, so I owe all that to y'all, and I really do appreciate that. Like I said, again, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about these two rounds. Uh, as far as the defensive use, which one would you pick in this particular revolver in this situation? Let me know down in the comments what y'all's thoughts about it are. I'm gonna try to squeeze out a few more tests out here today if I can. The sun's getting a really weird position. It's causing a bad glare because this gel is getting cloudy and yellow like it is. Like I say, I got two brand new blocks on the way. So the next batch of tests y'all be seeing will be all brand new clear blocks again. So it'll be much easier to see these tracks. But y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for a whole lot more to come. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see y'all soon.